I'm actually super nervous about this one. I feel like y'all are gonna be super critical in the comment section. Actually, you know what? It helps my algorithm, so go and do that. Hi, my name is Ariel and welcome to Mermaid Musings. So this video is all about the sun in Virgo and astrology. I personally love this sign placement because I'm a Virgo rising, so we get along great. Plus we're both intellectual snobs, so that's fun. If you don't know what I mean when I'm referring to the sun, don't worry, it's not that complicated. If you were born between August 23rd and September 22nd, you are a Virgo sun and this video is talking about you. But if you're really curious, like I know so many of you Virgos are, and want to do a deep dive into what the sun represents in astrology, I already made a video on that, which I will link down below. But basically, the sun is your ego, it's your self-confidence and your self-worth. It's what you need to do in order to feel good about yourself. It's how you need to behave in order to feel your best and shine your brightest. So when someone has their sun in Virgo, they need to embody Virgo traits in order to tap into those parts of themselves that I just mentioned. Virgo is ruled by Mercury, which is the planets of intelligence and curiosity and learning. So what gives Virgo suns their self-confidence is their intellectual nature. When they know that they are smart, they feel good about themselves. That's why it's important for them to constantly be learning to constantly be expanding their mental capacity. Virgo is a mutable sign, so it's always adapting, which means they're always meant to be growing mentally. It makes them feel good about themselves to read a book or read a newspaper or to watch a documentary. They need to make sure that they surround themselves with people who love this about them and admire their intellectual curiosity. Mercury is also the planet of communication. So while it can be fun for them to have frivolous conversations, they also need to have conversations about topics that really intellectually interest them. They need to have a back and forth dialogue about those topics so they can continue to grow mentally. Or at least they need people around them that like to be taught so then Virgo can teach other people about all the cool stuff that they're learning. One of the most important things that Virgo sons need to learn about themselves is that it is okay to change their mind when they are presented with new information. Virgo is so smart and it thinks it knows everything, so it's really easy for them to get stuck are in their already preconceived opinions. Because they think they already know everything about a certain topic, they quit digging, which stifles their intellectual growth. Because there's always more to learn and other opinions to consider that are different from their own. Sometimes when Virgo sons listen to other people's opinions, and I mean truly listen, they find out that other people have ideas about certain topics that they've never even considered. And even if that doesn't change their opinion completely, it can help them to shift their perspective somewhat or to learn something from that other person's opinion. I find that Virgos who are afraid of change tend to get stuck and have the worst sense of self-confidence because they aren't living out their Virgo adaptable nature. So if you are a Virgo, embrace mental change. Don't be afraid to change your thoughts and opinions because when you're always learning, that's eventually going to happen to you. And you shine your brightest when you are adapting and learning on an everyday basis. The opposite sign to Virgo is Pisces, which is delusional. And it likes to live in its own little dream world where everything is perfect. So Virgo is literally the opposite of that. Virgo is the most realistic sign of the whole zodiac. They often get the criticism of You're being so negative. When they aren't. They're just being realistic and being realistic isn't always fun. They don't twist things to fit their own narrative. That's why they can come across as harsh and negative because they aren't twisting things around to make reality easier to accept. They see the world as it is, not how they want to see it. Because they choose to live in reality and see things as they are, they see that nothing is perfect. But what this means is they can also see how to fix it and how to make it better, which is what they try to do because they're always trying to attain perfection, which leads to them always winding up disappointed because perfection is unattainable. Like I said before, the sun is what gives you confidence. So when your sun is in Virgo, you feel like everything has to be perfect in order for you to feel confident. This is why Virgo suns have such self-confidence issues, because for such a realistic sign, Thinking that they can be perfect is unrealistic. It's important for Virgo sons to find their self-confidence without perfection. Because if they don't, they will never be confident. This need for perfection is also why Virgos are so negative because they're never satisfied. They can always see where there is room for improvement and they choose to focus on that instead of focusing on what's already good. This is their gift and their curse. Virgo sons are always striving for perfection, but perfection doesn't exist. So they never actually get what they want, which is what leaves them miserable, but also what keeps propelling them forward. 
they are always trying to improve themselves. Therefore, they're always trying to make things better. Virgo suns never being satisfied is what frankly leads to them being better at whatever it is that they choose to do than everyone else. Other people will be like, ah, that's close enough, and they'll go ahead and finish on whatever it is they were working on. Not Virgo. They won't stop until they're satisfied or until it's the deadline and they can't work on it anymore. This leads to whatever Virgo chooses to invest their time or their energy into being better than everyone else's. Whatever Virgo chooses to do, you can bet that it's going to be as close to perfection as humanly possible. This is a huge part of why Virgos excel in their careers. Everyone I know who is a Virgo son is doing excellent work in their career. Even in BS jobs that they don't really care about are jobs that are just a stepping stone for them, Virgo will show up and they'll give 100% while they're there. They don't know how to do otherwise. Like they are not physically capable of doing a bad job. Even when they try to phone it in that ultimately winds up bugging them. They feel like they're doing something wrong and they will go back to giving it their all. This is why if you are a Virgo son, I highly encourage you to make sure that you are in a job that actually deserves you. Make sure you are in a job where you want to be there. If you aren't, that can be really depressing and draining for you because you're giving so much energy to a job you don't actually care about. Like I said before, you aren't capable of doing something unless you do it 100%. So pick a career path where you're okay giving it 100% where it makes you feel good how hard you work. Don't waste your hardworking spirit on a job that doesn't uplift your spirit. In general, most Virgo sons do get self-esteem boost from their careers. It makes them feel good knowing how good of a job that they do at work. They wanna feel like they're essential, like their office wouldn't be able to function without them, which a lot of the time that's actually the case. Again, this is a big part of why it's important for Virgo sons to pick the right work environment for them. If they are in a job and they are doing great work, but the surrounding environment and treatment from their fellow employees or bosses doesn't reflect that, it can take a toll on their self-confidence. It's easy for Virgos to wind up in these kind of work situations because they don't demand praise and respect like say a Leo would. So what happens is other people wind up commanding that praise and respect that really should go to Virgo, sometimes even taking credit for Virgo's hard work. So if you are a Virgo son and this is you, just know that you don't have to put up with it. Instead of leaving or standing up for yourself, you often choose to stay and complain about how unfairly you're being treated. But here's the thing, people don't wanna hear it. If you complain at work, you come across as petty. If you complain at home, people get tired of hearing how you're mistreated over and over and over again. So you have two options. You can either stand up for yourself at work or you can leave. But whatever you do, don't stay in the same place and continue to put up with it just because you're comfortable. You're a mutable sign. At the end of the day, you're adaptable. If you stand up for yourself and nothing changes, make that change yourself and leave. Don't be afraid to hop from job to job until you find the right place for you. Use your strength of adaptability to your advantage. While Virgo is adaptable, they are also the only mutable sign who can finish what they start and get things done because they have a work ethic and are responsible. They set themselves up a great schedule and routine that's designed to get tasks completed. When a Virgo says they're gonna get something done, there's no question in anybody's mind that they are gonna get that thing done. Virgo is great when it comes to commitment. They understand the price and dedication that comes with commitment. Other mutable signs commit to stuff and then they get into it and then they get out of it because they realize it's not what they thought they wanted. Virgo on the other hand sticks it out because Virgo never thinks that anything is going to be easy. In fact, they know that anything great doesn't come easy. The reason that Virgo is so great at setting up their routine is because their associated house is the sixth house, which is the house of day-to-day -day life. So they understand the importance of having a routine and staying on schedule better than any other sign. Virgo sons also find self-worth and self-confidence in their routine. It makes them feel good to get tasks completed on an everyday basis. Then becoming masters of a great routine helps them to build their self-confidence and build their self-worth. Virgo sons understand that it's the stuff we do every day that makes our lives better. I like to use a workout analogy to explain Virgo. You can't work out one time or rarely or randomly and expect to see results on your body. You have to set aside time and create a routine that you're committed to. You have to work out consistently in order to see results. Virgo sons take this approach with everything in their lives. In order to see improvements in your life, you have to create a collection of daily habits. That's what Virgos are masters of, a collection of daily habits. That's why Virgos can become masters of their own lives and masters of their environments. It's the same thing with their self-confidence. 
Them gaining self-worth is a slow process that happens little by little every day. They have to put in work every day in order for them to gain confidence. There's not like one big life moment for them that teaches them self-confidence. In fact, their self-confidence happens in such tiny steps that they probably have to look back last year, five years ago, 10 years ago, to really see the difference in their self-confidence and in their self-worth. So if you are a Virgo and you like to get down on yourself about not being confident enough, just know that you're probably doing better than you think you are. You're probably gaining self-worth without even realizing it. Virgos who aren't tapped into their sun sign, who aren't behaving like the qualities associated with Virgo and don't have those collections of daily habits, have no self-respect. They're basically a doormat that lets people walk all over them because they're so desperate to feel useful. They don't understand the difference between being useful in a way that feels good because they're the one who made their own decision to be helpful to someone else and being useful because someone else is forcing them to, which takes away their self-autonomy. On the other hand, Virgos who are really tapped into their sun have a ton of self-respect because they have a healthy relationship to their self-worth. They know how to stand up for themselves. They don't even have to have a dominating presence. They don't have to tell other people about how much self-respect they have, which is the mark of true self-respect. Their self-respect is about them, no one else. It's about putting up their boundaries. They don't feel that they have to prove anything to anyone else because they are so comfortable with themselves. Virgo is one of the most helpful signs of the zodiac. This is a huge part of what makes them popular in work environments that respect them. Though this also applies to how they treat everyone. More than any other sign, they will go out of their way to help other people. Virgo feels more comfortable helping you in a grounded, down-to-earth way. They want to do things to help you in the physical realm. They want concrete results on how they made your life better. They are more interested in helping you in a realistic way that provides tangible improvements to your life than helping you in the emotional realm. For example, Virgo is more comfortable driving an hour and a half to pick you up from the airport than dealing with your emotionally messy breakup. When they do get into situations like that, they prefer to help you out by showing up and helping you to get your stuff out of your ex's apartment than sitting there and listening to you cry about it. When there is nothing they can physically do to help you, but they still wanna be there for you when you're going through an emotionally volatile time, Virgo sons will still find a way to try and be constructive with their help. They aren't good at sitting there in silence and listening to you cry. They would rather provide you with realistic advice on how to handle the situation. Because they aren't so emotionally involved, they can often see the reality of the situation better than you can. So they wanna give constructive advice on what to do and how to move forward. So you don't have to stay in this horrible place and you can begin to put your life back together. Also, let's be honest, Virgo always thinks that they are right and they think they know what's best for you. This can be annoying for some people who don't understand why Virgo sons can't just sit and cry with them. But what you have to understand about Virgo is that's not who they are. They want to take care of you by making your life better. Them giving you advice is them trying to help you to make good choices so you can make your life better. That's how they show their love for you. If they didn't care, they wouldn't tell you what to do. That's why Virgos can overstep and interject themselves into situations that they really shouldn't be in. Because they're so desperate to be of help to you even when you don't want it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked this video, please do me a big favor and be sure to like and subscribe below. Also, be sure to follow me on social media so you can see even more updates when it comes to astrology. Once again, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.